Hi, my name is Jean-Tal and I'm the worship leader at 5F Church. And I've just been burning to just kind of share my backstory of how I even came to 5F Church and just kind of like my backstory. So um, before I came to 5F Church, for five years I had kind of been like in this wilderness. Um, a lot of times not going to church um, or bouncing from church to church, not really having a church home. And then one day my mom told me about this little church and she was like, why don't you go check it out? Like, it's pretty cool. They pray for people at the end. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> like, I was really nonchalant about it. I was just like, accepted. Like, I was just like, sure, like, why not? I'll go check it out. So I went and I had to go into this basement. At that time, we were meeting at the American Legion in Hollywood. And you had to go through this kitchen just to get to the main room where we were meeting. And um, Pastor Catherine was the first person to greet me. And I remember feeling so touched because at that time um, I had always felt like not seen by leadership in churches and the past churches I had been to. But uh, she just greeted me with so much love, so it really left a mark on my heart. So um, I went and it was powerful. Um, the anointing was moving and I kind of just fell in love really quickly, you know? Um, I fell in love with the church and the people. So I just started to continue going. And I noticed that as I kept going, I was noticing the anointing was actually affecting my life. I had been a Christian all my life. I was born into a Christian home, so I've known Jesus my whole life, and I love Jesus my whole life. But I had really, at that point, had really been like a lukewarm Christian, like not surrendered to God fully. Loved him, but had a lot of areas in my life that was just not surrendered to him. So when I came, and I was also struggling with a lot of different like sins and issues in my life that I had struggled with for a long time. And, um, but as I came to 5F and as I just served and I just stayed, I noticed that the anointing was just making things fall off of my life. I noticed that those issues that I had been struggling with for years and for years, it was just falling off with ease to the point where I was just like, wait, what happened to that problem? What happened to that problem? The anointing was literally transforming my life. It was literally transforming me for the first time in my life. The first time in my Christian walk, I actually was being transformed. And I just fell more and more in love with what God was doing there. I fell more and more in love with Him, with Jesus. And I was just wanting to surrender more and more. And I was like, wow, oh my God, I'm actually changing. I'm actually transforming. And I realized the power of the anointing. I realized the importance of planting yourself where the power of God is really moving. It really changes you. It really transforms you with ease. I realized that Jesus really moves on our lives with ease like it, it doesn't we don't have to struggle we don't have to like fast and fast for years and years and strive and you know stress for freedom freedom comes with ease because Jesus just wants to freely give it to us but I realized the key was being planted where the anointing was moving being planted where the power of God was moving that was the key and because it transformed my life so much, it has just become the biggest passion in my life. It has become the biggest burden on my heart to see people planted where the power of God is moving, to serve, to stay still, to not move, go from church to church and thinking that's the best way to just collect like all like the churches in a basket or something, you know, but just to stay still especially to where God has called you to be. To stay still where God has planted you, where the power of God is moving, to stay, to serve, to receive, to drink, to, to eat of the meaty teaching. Apostle Catherine was releasing so much powerful teaching that was simple, but was really edible and easy to receive. And because it was so simple, because it was so powerful and anointed, I was just learning and growing and it was like my spirit was just like becoming more and more hungry. I was like, yes, this is the food that I've wanted. This is it. This is it. And you know, I started off 
um, I wasn't a worship leader in the beginning. <laughs> I did not. I never wanted to sing because of past church hurt and I didn't believe in my voice. A lot of people had said that I didn't have a good voice, so I believe them. I believe the enemy's lies and I was just like, nope, I'm cool with not singing. So when I first came to 5F, like I was just putting like envelopes on chairs and just helping wherever they needed help. Just, you know, bouncing around and just like whatever they needed help with, like I was happy to help and happy to serve and I just stayed there and I just served and eventually after um, several months of me being at the church um, they asked me Apostle Catherine asked me if I wanted to sing and she never heard me sing before <laughs> so I just I just knew it was God ordained because first of all I never wanted to sing like I already told God I was like I do not want to sing this is not something I want to do Lord that's okay nobody likes my voice anyway so I'm just gonna sing to you in my closet, in my prayer closet, just me and you, that's okay. Like, I'm cool with that. <laughs> so um, when she asked me to sing, um, I was really nervous about it and I was not confident in my voice at all. But I said yes. And to this day, I still don't know why I <laughs> said yes because I was so adamant about not worshiping in public. But, um, every worship night and at that point we had had worship nights every Friday and and Sunday we would have our services and every Friday every Sunday I would get up on the stage and I would sing and I would feel so uncomfortable it was for years being at the church it was one of the most uncomfortable things to sing <laughs> and to let people hear my voice um, and to just focus on just worshiping Jesus and and push down the lies of the enemy that my voice was not good enough but every single worship night and every single Sunday Apostle Catherine as soon as I got off the stage or after the service she would say your voice sounded so beautiful it was you were amazing and uh, I was like really are you sure like oh my gosh I I don't know <laughs> I was really uh, it was really hard for me to believe but I realized the importance of encouraging your brothers and sisters because she, without fail, every single week would encourage me, would build me up. And the lies of the enemy, the lies that the enemy told me that my voice was not good enough, good, not good enough to worship God, it was being pushed away by the encouraging words that Apostle Catherine was just feeding me every single week. It was dying. Those lies were falling away. And I became passionate about worshiping Jesus after some time. I mean, it was still really uncomfortable. I would probably say, um, probably took me until probably this year <laughs> to finally be comfortable. Um, but I noticed, I realized that her encouraging me every single week was pushing away the lies of the enemy and was filling me with strength and with confidence to believe that I can do this. Jesus wants me to do this and number one, I wanna be obedient to him. So even if it's uncomfortable, I want to serve him in this way. So I was, I was happy to be obedient to him and he was so good and so kind to send me, to give me somebody to encourage me along the way to really build me up and please encourage your brothers and sisters encourage them even if you think it's a small thing because she probably didn't even realize <laughs> I don't cry <laughs> she probably didn't even realize the importance of what she was doing how I experienced so much church hurt and so um, so many people tearing down my voice so she didn't even realize the importance of what she was doing and how she was really building me up but she did it and she did it every single week and man if we could just simply just encourage our brothers and sisters if we could simply just be that voice of God to our brothers and sisters we could really be edifying and building up the church in powerful ways so powerfully so you know to this day um, it's it's almost been four and a half years now and I've been singing and I'm just so grateful to God. I'm so grateful that he allowed me to come be in a place that the anointing was moving. At that time when I was coming, demons weren't being casted out yet, but the anointing was still there. It was still transforming me, you know, and 
and I realized so many things. I grew so much just by being planted, just by serving, just by being obedient to what God wanted me to do. I just stayed, I just planted myself, and I never left. There had been times where, you know, people had told me, um, Chantal, you should leave. Are you sure you want to be here? I mean, the enemy tried to pull me away so many different times. But I knew and I held on to what God had done in my life. I valued everything that he had released to me in at 5F. I valued it. I held on to it. I was like, no, I know what God did for me here. I know how God has transformed my life. And I'm not letting the enemy take me away from what he has done for me. I valued it. I treasured it. I held on to it. Even when people left the church over and over again, even when at a time it was just like Apostle Catherine, me and Fred on a stage and nobody was even there on a worship night <laughs> except for the sound guy in the back. And we sang to literally no one even when those circumstances happened I stayed because I knew this is where God wanted me to be be I believed in the prophetic word that we had been releasing and declaring that revival is now revival is happening right now and I believed in it and I trusted what God was doing at 5f I believed in the vision and I knew that I couldn't leave I mean, it, it really felt like the scripture in the, in the Bible where the disciples or a lot of the disciples had left Jesus and only the 12 remained. And Jesus was like, are you going to leave me too? And the disciples were like, where, where can we go? And it literally felt like that for me. Like, where would I go? Like, I don't want to go anywhere else. So it is my biggest passion to see you to see people be planted where the power of God is moving, where anointing is being released. It is my biggest passion. Stay, serve, let God do what he wants to do in your life. Let God transform you in his anointing. Let him take his time. If he wants to, for me, like for me, like um, just transform me over years or, you know, however he wants to free you, change you, however he wants to do it, but in his church where the power of God is moving, stay and let God do it. Even if you are doing the smallest thing, even if you are serving in the smallest way, God sees and it is so important. I just burn so much for people to just stay where God is moving, to value when he has actually brought you to a church like 5F where the anointing is moving so powerfully, when he has brought you there and he's like, here you go, stay, value it, treasure it, know that this is a powerful gift from God and let him do everything he wants to do in your life. He will, he will elevate you when the time comes, he will bless you abundantly, the rewards will be unbelievable. I never would have thought that I would be traveling all over the world with Apostle Catherine. <laughs> that was never a thought of mine. It was never um, something I thought was even possible. Through me just staying and just receiving and growing and serving, God just blessed me beyond I could ever imagine. And that is why I'm so passionate about it because I know the reward. I know what God will do as you just stay where he wants you to be even if like there's trials even if there's like um ups and downs and you go through different situations and different hard times but if you would just remain planted if you would just remain planted and let god do everything he will blow your mind literally blow your mind